Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how I animate this design in After Effects. But before that, I want to thank all of you who love my content. I'm glad that my animations inspire you. All right, let's start the tutorial. So, let me show you the composition settings first. These are the composition settings. Okay, so first, we create text using the text tool. Just select the text tool and click on the composition to type, like I'm using H, then align it to the center. In this character panel, you can see I'm using the Ebrima font. Then select the layer and change the text into a shape layer. Now we can change the shape of the H. Delete the text layer. All right, so let's tweak this H shape a little bit. Select those points. You can see the keyboard shortcuts on the screen. Then select and hold shift, then drag it down a bit. This way we created some space over here. Now it's time to create a line. All you need to do is select the pen tool. Make sure fill is set to none. And stroke is set to solid. You can increase the stroke width if you wish. I'm changing the stroke color to see it better. Okay, so let's expand the canvas and start making the line. Start from outside the frame at the top right corner, and then go down where lines touch the H shape. You just try to make a natural path of a line, like how they come in and after hitting the H shape, it's going out this way. That's looking good. Now we can increase the stroke width to match the overall design. Let me change the name of this layer. Then I'm going to change the line cap. Butt cap to round cap. As you can see, the joints are very sharp of this line. To solve this problem, go to Layer Dropdown Properties. Under Stroke, you'll find Line Join. Just change it to round join. And the problem is solved, we have nice curves. After that, we need to adjust the points carefully. Okay, that's good. At this point in this tutorial, I'm gonna explain to you how to create a perfect gradient stroke in After Effects. So, I'm gonna create a line using the pen tool. And increasing the stroke width. Let me change the cap. Butt cap to round cap. All right, now pay attention at this point. We have a stroke one in this layer, just duplicate it. Then go to stroke two, drop down properties, and change the color white to black. Nice. Now open the stroke one drop down properties and find taper option, then open taper, and change the value of start length 0% to 100%. You can see the updated design. Now go to the Effects panel and type Fastbox Blur. Drag this effect and drop on the shape layer. Change the blur radius to 50. Then again go to the Effects panel and type CC Composite. Change the composite original as a stencil alpha. Nice. I'm going to add one last effect called Levels. Drag and drop the effect on the shape layer. Change the channel, RGB to alpha. Select this point and drag this way. You can see the transparent part is removing. This way you can create a perfect gradient stroke in After Effects. The benefits of making this stroke line are that we can change the shape as per our requirement and the gradient also changes according to the shape. Now let's get back to the tutorial. As we learned how to make the gradient stroke, we have to repeat this process with this line layer. All right, so after creating the gradient stroke, we are moving forward to animate it. Select the layer and open the drop-down menu. Then simply add a trim path. In the trim path, add keyframes like this. Then change the end value 100 to 0%. Then go to the second keyframe and change the start value 0 to around 88%. Let's see the preview. 
It's looking so fast to slow down the speed, select second keyframes and drag them forward. Then select the time indicator and move it slowly. Try to find a point where this dot touches this point. Add a keyframe here, then move forward gently and try to find a place where the dot at the top and add keyframes here. Then simply select both keyframes and easy ease them. Go to the graph editor, then select start point. Then select this point and double click on it. You can see this box is open. You just need to check this box. Repeat the same thing with the end point. Now select both points, also select these points together, and drag them upwards like this. Check the preview. OK, let's change the graph like this. And after that, drag them to adjust the timing. It looks so nice. Let's create a shape breaking animation. As you can see, we are at the point where the ball touches the area where the shape will break. Since this is a shape, we can adjust it. But before that, we need to create a shape to replace this section. The best way to create a perfect shape is to use guidelines, and we will use them. Press Ctrl plus R to reveal the ruler and create guidelines like this. Then simply select the pen tool and change the color of it. Next, create a rectangle with the help of guidelines. Now we can change the color of it. Then, select the pen behind tool and change the anchor point position to the bottom left of this shape, so that when we rotate this shape, it will rotate at this point. After that, select the H shape layer and open the path properties. Make a keyframe at this point, then use this button to go forward one frame. Select the shape of H and adjust it like this. You can see when the ball or line touches the H shape, it goes down. And at this point, we have our new shape. All right, let me quickly change the layer name. Then, open the rotation properties of this shape. Add a keyframe, go forward in the timeline, add another keyframe, and change the value of rotation to minus 180 degrees. Go forward again and change the values of rotation properties. Basically, I'm creating four keyframes to animate this box shape. It's time to check the RAM preview. It feels too quick, so I'll select all the keyframes and increase the spacing between them to slow down the animation. Nice. That's how I animate this concept in After Effects, and you can do it too. You can use this concept in many places with your own creative touches. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new today. If you want to learn more about motion graphics design, you can follow me on Instagram and also watch my course classes on my website. So, that's it for now. See you in the next video.